That's right, guys. Check out what the postie just delivered. This is my new HSP 18th electric powered rock crawler. As always, we get the standard HSP 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, a wheel hex by the looks of it, but that is massive. Uh, and that's because this is 24 millimeter hexes, I think. They are huge, guys. This car is just massive. Um, what else we get in the package? Uh, antenna tube, a bind plug. The instructions, if anyone is familiar with HSP, you'll know that they've got quite good instructions. They're not color or anything, but they've got a, a massive list of parts, most likely upgraded parts as well, and a breakdown diagram of the whole build. You also get a 7.2 volt 2000 milliamp NIMH battery with its corresponding charger. And to the car guys, as I said, I had no idea what I was buying. I've definitely gone from one extreme to another. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just huge. I, I really had no idea how big this car actually was. I have one more comparison before I go inside the truck. So guys, this is my X-Max and they are really big trucks. The Hummer is actually the same length or very close to the X-Max. Not the width, I understand that. The crawler needs to be long because you need to reach high sort of rocks and stuff to get up, up to the next sort of part. But seriously, now taking a look inside, this thing is an absolute beast. Very nice chassis, very nice shocks. Um, there's a lot of movement in the shocks, as you can see. It goes to almost 90 degrees. We have dual 540 brushed motors. One in the front, one in the rear. Standard servo that I most likely will have to change. Got your standard HSP receiver in there. A dual brushed ESC. Most of the other components are plastic. I'm not sure about the, the differentials or, sorry, axles and drivetrain and everything, but when something happens, I will take it apart and check it all over. And this thing is very, very easy to change the four wheel steer. This is where you put your servo. And then up here, you just remove this uh, tie bar here. Add a longer one, obviously, down to your servo. And you've got rear steering. The battery mounts inside there, underneath the receiver and speed control. And just a quick look at the, the bottom, the underside. Yeah, I really like the addition of these steel or aluminium skid plates. That will actually prevent your motor from getting damaged. One thing I did notice about this shell and this whole setup, the tie bars here actually pretty much hit the shell already when the when the car's not moving but as soon as you apply a little bit of lift onto one side it starts raising the body moving the body so it's going to start denting or cracking the shell here i might have to trim it just for now until i get another shell for it so let's take this thing out for a test guys all right here we go Wheels aren't soft enough, I don't think. Nice. Four wheel steer would be much better in this case. Oh, beautiful, but now yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's 
yeah, I don't think I should try that. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Oh no. Oh well, I was gonna go down there anyway. <laughs> Not really graceful getting down. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna fall, isn't it? <laughs> oh wow. I'm surprised I got that. Alright guys, well I did not expect myself to enjoy crawling so much, but I think this being so big and quite capable, yeah, it made it a whole new experience compared to my little crawlers that I've got. With a few modifications, maybe get rid of half of the foam inside the tyres because there's a lot of foam inside the tyres, they're quite hard. That'll make it a lot better. Rear steering will make it even better. That will be awesome once it's rear steer, or sorry, four wheel steer, and maybe some softer springs because I did notice at times a wheel would stay in the air when it was kind of needing to drop. And I know, well, I, I think softer springs will help that. So I'll get it all worked out, get a few mods on it. But guys, seriously, I think I'm gonna enjoy crawling with this thing. Cheers, catch you in the next video, and as always, stay safe.